Hi Pisces, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your Eclipse energy reading. This is just an energy that the Eclipse may bring to you. Okay, so this is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We are just going to see what comes up. You know, this is just a message basically from my guides, right? For you. It may or may not resonate with you. We are just going to see what happens. All right. We're going to start with this deck. Then we're going to go with this deck. Then we're going to go with this deck. Then we're going to go with this deck. Okay. This is intended for the 15th to the 31st of July. But we know that the uh, eclipse energies, um, they can last longer. So let's just see what message you have that you will be dealing with during this eclipse. What, what kind of energy? What What's what might be happening for you Let's start right here what do we have for Pisces fourth chakra Archangel Raphael now this is the heart chakra it's the love chakra it's self love it's healing love so this this is a healing love that's what this is heart healing so it's love i love so it's i love it's all about love right healing love what do we have for pisces maybe your heart is healing oh this one went flying Ooh. passion allow your heart and soul to sing with joy look it looks like it's a passionate love as well so you can be expecting some passion and probably some love let's see what we got here Pisces what do we have for Pisces Ooh, healing it fits it fits you may be dealing with a Gemini because Gemini got this card as well so you may be you know healing with a Gemini it might not be gonna be some wild fun though by the looks of things anyway let's see what we got we're gonna read that healing card for you because it's pretty prominent Illness and pain in your body is a message for you to slow down. Look within and make important changes. If you are experiencing stress, feel overwhelmed, are suffering ailments in your body, or feel exhausted and depressed, it means that your body is trying to communicate with you. Your body wants you to start treating it in a more loving manner and listening to the messages that it's sending you. You need to become conscious of the areas in your life that you are avoiding or suppressing. Are you avoiding somebody, Pisces? Or avoiding an emotion? Are you suppressing your truth? Are you suppressing something and it's causing ailments within you? Healing takes time. It's a process. Your first step towards healing is to create a safe, loving, supportive environment where you can listen to your inner wisdom so it's about healing it's about healing of yourself okay because that is self-love right there so let's see what we got what do we have for Pisces during this eclipse a healing is going on there is a healing going on it could be a sexual healing honestly it could be it could be it doesn't it's probably more than that it is more than that but Let's see what we have. What do we got for Pisces? Ooh, Seven of Wands reverse. This is being criticized. The Seven of Wands reverse is being criticized. Being overly critical. Misjudging. Somebody may have misjudged a situation. Two of Swords. Now we got a painful decision. We have a painful choice. A choice between two options. Okay, this is... Uh, you know somebody has been avoiding and suppressing so that makes sense avoiding um, 
in denial, um, blocking, blocking their truth, and passion. It is very passionate. There's an opportunity for a lot of passionate. There's a passionate new beginning here. There's an opportunity to rekindle a flame or, you know, meet your match. Nine of Wands. It's a challenge, though. This is a challenge. You've come a long ways. Maybe you have come a long ways with somebody. You know, this is not giving up. Not giving up on something. Perseverance pays off. Now, Seven of Swords reversed. This is... <laughs> Seven of Swords, this is deception, this is betrayal. You're deceiving yourself. Somebody has been deceiving themselves. You may have been overly critical of a person or of yourself. This is deception. Be careful. The truth is probably going to come out. You may Somebody's been blocking the truth, but you can only block the truth, your true feelings, for so long. You can only block it, you can only hide it, you can only suppress it for so long before it comes to a point of bursting, you know? So this is something about to be revealed. Some, and this is the truth about to be revealed. Um, eight, of pent eight of Pentacles. This is hard work. Working really, really hard. Putting in a lot of effort. You may have been working really hard to block. Really hard to suppress. Really hard to start over. Maybe you've been trying to start over. Now this is hasty. This is rushing in a hurry. This is, this is a dishonest. This is dishonest. This is... Um, it's not always dishonest, but this is in a in a big, big, big hurry. Confidence. This is a lot high confidence. Facing a challenge. You may be ready to face some sort of challenge. You may have found your confidence to unblock. Removing an obstacle. This is a remove it. This is a lie. Eight of Swords reverse is a lie. It's removing an obstacle. And this is a lie too. So removing an obstacle. Some sort of obstacle that has been that you've been dealing with. You've been working hard to deal with is being removed from your life. Seven of Wands. You may, you may have been walking on eggshells. You may have been wanting to protect yourself. Eight of Cups reversed. Thinking about going back. Going back to something. Oh my goodness gracious. So, this is thinking about going back. In a hurry to go back. In a hurry to... You know, there's a lack of abundance here with these eights. You might be in a situation where there's no success. 888. What goes around comes around. What goes around comes around. What goes around comes around. Hmm. It's time to go. With eights, it's time to go. Go for it right now. 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 Now, eights are also endless love. It is endless love, never-ending love. It is endless love. Everlasting love. It's also a card of, there's it's consequences. Queen of Cups reverse. Somebody's not honoring their their true emotions. There's a lack of self love here. <laughs> I can't make it up. It's an emotional time. It's a very emotional time with the Queen of Cups in reverse. You may see yourself as a victim here. You may, you know, see that you, you know, you may be the victim. You may see yourself as the victim when, you know, you, it's almost like you're not following your heart, Pisces. It's like you're not following your heart. And right now with these eights is now, eights are now. 
It's time to heal. It's time to heal. It's time to deal with this challenge. It's time to go right now, like in a hurry. Time is of the essence. So somebody is rushing. Somebody is rushing to go back. Go back to somebody. Go back to a situation. Could be the person you're dealing with. It could be the person that you're dealing with. It doesn't have to be you. Somebody is in a hurry to go back to, it's almost like a lost love. Could be your partner. Could be you. This is emotionally unavailable. Emotional shutdown. Tears. This is an obstacle being removed that was based on deception, okay? The Seven of Swords and the Eight of Swords, it was it was keeping you trapped. The Eight of Swords is a trap. You know, you were keeping this trap, you're being released from this snare, this trap, okay? princess of pentacles you know this is somebody you may have been dealing with somebody that lacks integrity somebody that has a wandering eye somebody that doesn't have any focus doesn't have any follow through doesn't put any effort into anything somebody that's lazy um, this person could be younger than you this person um, could be a player six of cups reverse this is clinging to the past this person could be clinging to the past or you could be clinging to the past clinging to the memories of the past the memories of the past are prominent so you're going to be and there's tears so there's during this eclipse i feel as though you're going to be reminiscing about the past quite a bit You could be dealing with a Gemini. She's got she's got somebody's head in her hands. He ain't nobody to mess with, put it that way. Anyhow, um got a weapon in her hand as well. So anyway, um Queen of Swords reverse, she's bitter. And that's that's ready to face. Yeah, it would be a challenge. Yes, it absolutely would be. So I feel as though we have somebody here that is rushing in to deal with this bitter individual. <laughs> we have a bitter lonely woman this woman is lonely she's bitter she's upset she's she's combative she is very combative she she might rip your head right off and you know whatever um and i think there's probably some fear of that but then we got this warrior right here that is has a lot of confidence he's gonna he probably thinks he's gonna take her down anyhow um accepting the challenge I think that we have a freaking somebody here that is ready to accept the challenge that she has presented. This woman, she is vindictive. She is, uh, she is very powerful. She is very powerful. And I think that, you know, going eight of cups reverse, this is going back. But to go back, you, she wants the goddamn truth. Only the truth and nothing but the truth. So she, you know, definitely something to be scared of. So anyway, I feel like there's there's an opportunity to rekindle a flame with this individual who is not happy. But there's an opportunity for healing, obviously, because we have healing and we have passion. Um, this is somebody from the past, an ex. And I'm not just saying that. You could, the Queen of Swords is often the ex. So, I feel as though you, you could, your partner could be going back to their ex. Somebody's leaving and they're leaving hastily. They've, they've made a decision and there ain't no stopping them. Should anybody get in the way, they will probably get hurt. These two people are both very powerful. They both got weapons in their hand that's scary anyhow um prince of pentacles this has been somebody's been planning 
somebody has been planning to come with this offer. They've been planning it. Dealing with a Taurus, perhaps. That's a bull. Anyway, um, Taurus, Gemini. Anyhow, um, we got, and this, this person is rushing in. This is Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So I'm not sure what is going on here, but we have somebody that is rushing in with a golden opportunity. Seriously, a big opportunity. They could be coming towards you, Pisces. Somebody could be coming towards you, you know, with a golden opportunity. But you're going to have to let go of your bitterness. You're going to have to let go of your resent. You're going to have to try not to rip this person's head off. Okay? Or you were the other person. who This could go vice versa. It's like you're going to have to try to communicate as effectively as possible. You know? I feel like their emotions are going to be running very, very, very high because the past is on the table here. The past is very prominent. Somebody is probably going back or thinking about going back to their past. Could be you or the person that you're dealing with. There's a lie anyway. There's lies here. There's deception. But the Seven of Swords reversed and the Eight of Swords... I, Feel free to look it up. Eight of Swords reverse. Feel free. Please do if you don't believe me. Somebody has been lying. Not telling the truth. Blocking their true feelings. Playing a game. Dealing, playing games. But this is an opportunity for passion. A new start. A fresh start. To heal. To heal something. Deep bond. Nine of Cups reverse. This is a deep soulmate bond here. Somebody is finding the confidence. They're being urged to go. And they're recognizing the soulmate connection the bond, the deep bond that they have. And I think that they are about to take action. So I feel like things are going to happen very, very quickly. I think there's going to be passion. I think there's probably going to be some healing that happens because somebody decides to speak the truth after being dishonest. Somebody closed off their emotions to the person they love. And I feel like it can't be hidden anymore. We got a challenge. And we got this person that is, is ready to accept the challenge. So somebody is headed in a new direction. They've been planning it. They've been getting ready to, to come forward. They've been ready to go. They have. They've been getting ready to. And it's like now there's some sort of recognition. It's like they're, they will be respected for doing so. They will gain respect. Somebody is about to be recognized for their nobility. For finding the confidence to act with nobility to do the right thing so yeah there's there's somebody headed in with some honest truthful I think it is honest and truthful communication after they have been deceptive they haven't been telling the truth they're coming in with a passionate offer this is a new start it's a fresh start They may be coming with a gift. They're afraid. <laughs> they are deaf. They've been watching, you know, and their guard is up. This person is ready to face the challenge. They're ready to fight. They're ready to fight for their wish fulfillment. So Pisces, somebody is either coming towards you very quickly or you are headed towards them very quickly or the person that you are dealing with 
has somebody headed towards them or you or, or whatever, vice versa. It's almost like somebody is coming in very quickly. They're coming in very quickly to shake things up. This is a shake up. This guy causes a shake up. Things are about to change. There's going to be some sort of altercation. There, maybe look at all the weapons. I mean, I'm not saying it's going to be weapons, but you know, there, there's going to. It's like there could be a, there could be some sort of nasty word said, or there could be some sort of conflict. Okay, there could be some sort of or fear of conflict. Ten of Cups. Whatever this is, it leads to happiness. There could be the end of one relationship, okay, because this is a completion that gives somebody the opportunity to move in another direction. Anyway, happiness is coming. This is an opportunity for extreme happiness, a new relationship, a relationship, period. So somebody is headed in very, very quickly to shake things up in your world, or they're headed out. Somebody is either headed in or they are headed out. And, and there's two soulmates coming together. Whether it's your partner that is going towards their soulmate or you're going towards your soulmate. We have soul, two soulmates that have a very deep bond that are about to reconnect. Whether, however it resonates with you. Somebody is breaking free from an unhealthy situation and taking back control. So Pisces, I think that you are about to go through a very emotional time. There could be some altercations that are might happen. Maybe with some children. Maybe that your partner's children get involved. Um be careful be careful okay because this is be careful the seven of swords reversed it is be careful um you are going to be faced with a challenge and you're going to have to be on your toes um there's an opportunity for happiness here there really is believe it or not and there's a deep bond you know that could happen with you and this other person, whoever it is. I think that there's a there's a Libra, Aquarius, or a Gemini that there is, it's an air sign that is very prominent here. Probably a Gemini, because Gemini got that as well. And Gemini got reconciliation. So they're gonna have a reconciliation with somebody, so I don't know. Um, but anyway, I feel as though you guys are about to be faced with a challenge and I think that you're going to probably win and you may, it may not feel like winning. It may not feel like winning when you're feeling the emotions, when you're dealing with this painful situation, because it is painful, but in the end, you're going to find your happiness, extreme happiness. And you're going to be broken free. You are going to be broken free from somebody that, I mean, this is broken free. This is broken free from, you could be dealing with Taurus, you could be dealing with a Libra, I don't know. Broken free from somebody who has held you down. Somebody who's lazy, somebody who's smothering, somebody who is selfish. Somebody that you don't see eye to eye with. This is broken free. So I think that there's some ties that are going to be severed that are, are going to allow you to connect with whoever it is that you are supposed to connect with. Or the other person, because this could go vice versa. Somebody is moving very quickly in a new direction and, it, and it's, it's breaking free. It's, there is something that you are severing ties with.
It's going to give you the opportunity to heal. Somebody's been blocking a deep bond. They, be, they have. This is blocking a deep bond. <laughs> Anyhow. Be prepared for some sort of conflict. Okay? Because conflict is coming. But this is going to allow you to sever ties and heal. And that's what I got. Good luck.